Danny Segura for MMAfighting.com here in New York City. Next to Shane Burgos, we'll be taking Makwan Amir Khani at UFC 244. Shane, I'm going to skip all the warm-up questions because I, I know you always keep it 100. Talk to me about that stare down. It was pretty intense stuff. Yeah, he yeah, even I, took off the shades, man. Yeah, I expected. I wanted him to take off the shades, so I, so I appreciate that. I wanted to look right into his eyes. What did what, you see? Because obviously with the shades, you can't see. As soon as he took it off, what, what was that like? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break this guy. I'm going to beat him down. I'm going to break him. So he's making his, his U.S. debut. This is his first time in the U.S. So you're going to be welcoming him to the U.S. Not only to the U.S., but also to New York City. My, my home yeah, state. Yeah, your, your home state. Do you yeah. like that role? I, I love it. I love it. I'm defending. This is like, like a Game of Thrones kind of thing. I'm defending my, my, my territory. Yeah, yep. exactly. And we'll get into the Game of Thrones part in, in just one second. But what have you made of uh, Amir Khani's run so far? I mean, he, he, he was off for a little bit, but all of a sudden, you know, he's on a, on a decent streak now. Uh, what, what do you make of him? Have you been impressed with his body of work in the UFC? Yeah, he's a, he's a good fighter. He's, got, he's a good grappler for sure. Good on the ground. Um, I think his stand-up's got some, some flaws, some holes, and I think after the first few exchanges, if he stands with me for that long, um, he's going to start shooting right, up, right off the bat. I don't think that he's going to want to stand with me much longer. I, I Really, I think within the first minute, he's going to realize, oh, I can't stand with this guy. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm ready for him to start taking me, to try, trying to take me down, and me stuffing his takedowns, making him pay every time he shoots. Now, uh, the last time you fought was in May, right? If yeah. I'm not mistaken, you beat Cub Swanson. Um, obviously, Cub Swanson is a big opponent, yep. a huge name in the division. Did you expect somebody a little higher, somebody with a bigger name, bigger ranking, or is this the kind of fight that matchup that you're, you're okay with? 100% uh, definitely expected someone big. Cause uh, you coming off this Cub Swanson fight, beat, uh, beat number 10, I'm ranked number 12. So I'm like, all right, look, I'm eyeing the rest of the division. Like I'm like, this guy, I'm like, that guy. They offer me this guy saying everyone else is booked up. I'm like, wasn't expecting that. MSG, whatever, let's do it. I got, I got a family to ride for, so whatever. Yeah. Um, was part of the, the break that you had, I mean, it's not all that long, it's May, but was that looking for the right opportunity, looking for this MSG card? Why, why the layoff? I wanted to come back in August, but I had a vacation booked already, so I couldn't come back at, at, at those specific dates in August. So then after that, I was like, all right, I'll be ready in September. And then they were like, I mean, MSG is right there. Why don't you wait for that one? I was like, yeah, yeah, I should do that, yeah. Where'd you go, by the way? I went to Myrtle Beach. Yep. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. Uh, and I don't know if you, you pay attention to any of this, but if this fight will be your fifth fight in the UFC here in New York, yeah. it seems like you're the go-to guy whenever they come here to, to New yeah. York. Do you, you kind of like that? I, I love it, man. I love it. I put me in New York every single time. I took an hour to get here, man. No traffic too, so it's been awesome. Yeah. Now let's get into that Game of Thrones. Uh, it seems uh, they're going to take out a prequel. It's called uh, House of the Dragon, um, based on the Targaryens. Yeah. Uh, are you ready to revisit this, or are you still heartbroken from the finale? I'm, I'm heartbroken from the finale, but I need that prequel to come out like now. Yeah. Like I don't want to wait. I, I'm, I heard that they canceled the the one with Naomi Watts, which I'm shocked about because I thought they had a, a star-studded yeah. cast with that. So it kind of devastated me a little bit. But um, they need to speed it up, get get it going. Yeah. They need to re that last season, man. Love the show. Really, really, really big fan. I, I went to that that app, the, the premiere party, yeah. and the guys were awesome. The writers, they're awesome. I got nothing bad to say about them. I just really wish it went out with a bang. Yeah, yeah, sure. Kind of fizzled out there. It did. Uh, it's definitely a disappointing end to, to, to that. But how do you feel about the Targaryens? I mean, an interesting family, right, to, to make the prequel? Yeah, I think um, probably out of all of them, I think that's the family that you'd want to see yeah. with all the dragons and all that stuff. So I think that's a smart, smart choice to go with them. Sure. Well, I can talk to you about Game of Thrones all day, but uh, we got to roll out here and get some more interviews done. So thank you, man, for, you, for the time and best of luck on Saturday. Thank Looking you, forward to your fight.